everybody, I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you people are new over here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Janvi. All right, so recently I put up a story on my Instagram asking you all to ask me some questions and to answer to all of your questions, I'm going to make a YouTube video. So first of all, I hope you people know is that a lot of you has also asked me, you know, questions regarding English, like how can we be fluent? How can we improve our pronunciation? Then basically most of my YouTube channel is based on all of those videos. Then go and check those videos out. I'm going to give you tips for English, yes, but please do not think that this video is only going to be about English. We're going to talk a lot about my life, a lot about your life, and a lot about like the our lives and the societies and everything that we deal with on a daily basis. That's what we're going to talk about. So when I put up this story and when I like went through your questions, I found out and I discovered is that some of you are some of the most interesting creatures on planet. Like you all can be so creative and not in a good way. But I think it was very funny when it went through all of your questions. So thank you so much for all of the questions. There were also some comments saying you're our inspiration. We learn English from you. You're amazing. So thank you so much, everybody, for that. And thank you so much for all of your questions. Now let's get started. All right, so um, this is a question that I got asked a lot, is that how to deal with sadness. I'm sad, I'm super sad. And somebody asked me uh, how to deal with temporary sadness. All right, uh, first of all, temporary sadness, permanent sadness, there's nothing like that. It's everything that goes from here. Whatever you're telling yourself is that I'm sad, I'm sad. If you're going to tell yourself that, you're going to be sad. If you're going to T keep telling yourself oh i'm the most happiest person on earth i'm the happiest right now i'm super excited right now then your mind is gonna search for things that will make you happy because you're giving it the command is that you are happy right now so it will do everything in its power to make you happy and believe me our brain's power okay it's super amazing and still if you're feeling sad then what i recommend is is that if you have like nature around you somewhere like a small park or trees or just like a very abandoned kind of forest <laughs> so go over there go to the uh, go into the nature and just like you know it's gonna make you feel fresh like you know world can be so beautiful and also talk to different people the reason is is that we feel super bored with the same people over and over again i mean that's the case with me sometimes is that i keep hearing the same people talk so sometimes it gets me bored but i surround myself with some of the most coolest people on earth so i don't have that problem anymore but for you people yes go and talk to different people you know and learn about their lives and you know learn about their opinions because the reason you're feeling sad is maybe because of all of these set opinions in your mind right now but now get an experience of different perspective of different opinions you're gonna enjoy life or listen to your favorite music jump to your favorite music dance scream yell yeah that's all i can suggest all right next up somebody says you got an iphone yes i do have an iphone it was gifted this is my papa's phone and so yeah, I do have an iPhone. Is that a big deal? I'm recording on my iPhone right now. And then, okay, yeah, I also got this one asked a lot. Is that, uh, how do you keep up with the positive energy? I think guys, positive energy isn't something you keep up with, you know? And how do I keep myself up with the positive energy? It's not like I do not have bad days. Of course I have bad days, I have like worse days. So I do have those, but you know, as I told you, whatever you're gonna tell yourself, you're gonna be that. And the problem with us people is, is that we do not look for happiness in small things. We keep seeking for happiness. Okay, so positive, we are gonna be positive once we earn like $1 million. Once we earn like one lakh rupees, that's when we are going to be positive. No, you're waking up every morning. You're pushing yourself to wake up every morning if you love to sleep. And then you're trying, then you do the same thing every day. And even if you do different things every day, but you still have the motivation to get up. I think that is positive. And to keep up with your positive energy, smile, make, tell yourself you're the happiest person of earth, you know, look for happiness in every single place and everything's going to be perfect. So smile. Okay, so, oh yeah, this one really made me sad. Uh, somebody asks, is that Janvi, I'm not beautiful at all, but I'm really sweet to people and I'm really kind to people. And, but 
and then she has like another with the addition one so she says it on a different question she says i don't know if this is a she or a he or they or them i'm sorry i don't know your pronouns but uh this person says is that some girls are so rude who are pretty and still people like him <laughs> uh who cares for your beauty when your tongue is ugly i mean come on nobody really cares about that you know if you have the right confidence if you have something here then you have something here and if you just keep telling yourself you're the most confident person and the most beautiful person to walk on this planet then believe me you are i really wish i i really wish i can make you see what is behind my wall right now well on my study table right now behind my phone so i have this whole collage and one of the quotes on my collage says beauty may be dangerous but intelligence is lethal so yes get this this it's gonna be amazing and believe me you're beautiful you know you're just living among people you have a perception of beautiful like you think you do not fit in the beautiful perception but you do you know that may not be according to your beauty standards so maybe you need to increase your beauty standards a little bit too much so that you can see how beautiful you are turn it up okay now somebody says slowly you're becoming the best version of yourself thank you very very much you don't know how happy this makes me do you have any fashion tips for us i can't tell if this is an insult or not i mean is this sarcasm do i really look like a fashion guru to you so every day i walk into my closet and not that i walk into i just open it up and see what kind of clothes i have and i see okay this is a little bit oversized that's what i wear so please do not take fashion tips from me nobody really likes my fashion everyone just say everyone says okay you have the most dumbest fashion on earth so please do not take fashion tips from me okay uh now somebody asks me what do you like about haryana <laughs> What do I like about Haryana? The people, the energy, our attitude, our swag, you know, our culture. I like everything about Haryana. So, of course, you know, uh, and also, we've always been like taught, if you always have this pride in us, like we are Haryanvis, you know, nobody messes with us. That kind of swag. And our dialect, you know, it can be so rough sometimes. Like, even if we are having like a heart to heart conversation in Haryanvi, it's going to seem like, okay, these two people must be fighting. So, that's Haryana, that's her attitude, that's her swag. I, I absolutely love, love, love this place. My favorite place on earth, Jaryana. All right. Okay, now somebody asks me uh, something about depression. And I know it's not a word to be like thrown around like this, but why is depression so bad? And how can we deal with depression? And what to do with depression? Okay. All right, so uh why is depression so bad i think the reason is is that we think depression is bad is is something you cannot control it's definitely something you cannot control at all and that's why it's so bad and even if there are people who are trying to help you you just keep pushing them away so it gets more worse you know like nobody's there for you that kind of feeling so and I think it controls your life completely. And I know I'm getting very negative right now, but this is what depression is all about. You know, this is what I've experienced and I've seen different people experiencing. For to deal with depression, you know, I'm going to say this thing again. And I've said this thing a million times before. Million may be an exaggeration, but I've said this thing a lot of times before. It all goes from here. Whatever you are going to tell yourself, that's what you are. So if you're going to keep telling yourself, I'm depressed, I'm worthless, I'm useless. If you're going to tell all of those things to yourself, you are going to become those. So make sure you affirm something positive every single day. Not only for like 10 minutes, but for your whole day. And you're going to be the best, bestest, happiest version of yourself. Okay, somebody says, not interested in you, you over smarty. I can't say the next word, really. And this person has one follower. Great. All right, what makes you think I'm interested in you? All right, um, please give us your Spotify. A lot of people have asked for my Spotify before. And whenever I've like given out my Spotify, people think like, 
are you crazy? Do you have some sort of issues? But I listen to good artists all of the time. I mean, I listen to so many good artists. I listen to uh, Lana Del Rey. I listen to J. Cole. I listen to Chase Atlantic, The Neighborhood, The 1975, Arctic Monkeys. I listen to a lot of rap music as well, like other rap music, Lil Wayne, Travis Scott. I do listen to them. And then One Direction is always on the top of my list. Okay, so the next question we have, I want to be as talented as you are. You have more potential to be more talented than me. You have got a lot of potential. So it's just a matter of time is that where you put your potential in, in what field you put your potential and you're gonna become the master of your field. <laughs> Okay, now somebody says, what's your GLPD status? My GLPD status, I haven't actually given GLPD ever. Uh, when I was learning Japanese, I was 13 years of age and, you know, I thought I'll give GLPD, then I was busy with my college elections and everything, so I did not, but I'm gonna give it a, give it a try now. So that is what my GLPD status is. From where are you learning French and what kind of course are you doing? So I'm done with my certificate in French. I'm done with my diploma in French. Now I'm doing an advanced diploma in French from St. Stephen's, uh, St. Stephen's College. Okay. And um, Oh yeah. How did you become so confident? Uh -huh. I think be yourself. You're going to be the most confident version of yourself. Uh, just tell yourself like... You know, you are you and nothing can change that. You have the privilege to be you. You have the privilege to come back home to yourself. And I think that makes you the most confident person ever. The moment you decide to show love for yourself, that's the moment you be confident. You're going to be confident. And somebody now asks me, how to make a proper schedule for 10th class? Please help and lots of love from Himachal. Lots of love from Haryana. Okay, I don't know if I did this correctly. Is this the way you do it? Yeah. So uh, uh, what I did was when I was in 10th standard, so my father, he created like charts of my syllabus. Like if I have 12, 12 chapters in science, so we created a chart and we wrote like every chapter's name. A chapter can take up to like two to three days to complete. You do not have to study for a whole year for like 15 or 20 chapters. Come on. I mean, it's not something like that. So give yourself a target, like in three days, I'm gonna complete this chapter of this subject, this chapter of this subject, this chapter of this subject, maths of this. So give yourself a target every single day. And after you're done with your target, now you're gonna go to your chart where you have written down your syllabus, then you're gonna tick. Like you can ask me anything from anywhere in this chapter. And please, you know, just do not concern yourself too much in 10th standard. And do not concern yourself ever. Everything's very easy. The more difficult you're gonna make it, the more difficult it's gonna become. So just be chill. Everything's gonna be interest. Everything's gonna be amazing. Now somebody asked me, are you mad or are you crazy? What if I'm both? What do you think about that? <laughs> All right, and I think this might be the last question let me search for a good one what is your favorite country other than my country i think i love to go to japan i don't know there's something about japan that i've always loved you know it's it's the vibes and i i remember i was 13 years of age when i started watching like japanese movies and series to learn japanese it was amazing. So I still have the craving to go to Japan and spend my uh, spend some time over there and live that Japanese life. I love to do that. Now somebody asks me. Okay, yeah, this is the last question. Are you into K-pop? Uh, I'm actually not into K-pop, but I think I've listened to a little bit of Korean songs. I don't know the artists, but I'm not. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the last question. I was searching for this one. I'm super, uh, I apologize. And I was searching for this one. If you could change one thing about our world today, what would it be? Yes, thank you so much for asking this question, whoever it was. Because uh, I really can't guess by your uh, username if you're a girl or if you're a boy. I really can't guess your pronouns. But if I could change one thing about the world today, I first of all, I'd change like a million things if I can. But I think one thing I'll definitely change is that our validation, you know, our 
desperation for seeking validation from every single person on planet stop doing that i just teach people you know that they can accept themselves the way they are self-acceptance i would love to change that you know when people just accept themselves the way they are and they love themselves the way they are so that other people can love them as well that's what i'll change and this is it uh, thank you so much, guys, for asking all of your questions. I'm super, super happy that you guys took your time out, watched this video, and also asked me these many questions. A lot of you have also asked me, what are you doing at the moment? Then uh, I'm 18 right now. I'm going to turn 19 real quick, like in a few weeks. And I'm done with my master's in English literature. Now I'm preparing for my PhD. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also doing an advanced diploma in French from St. Stephen's and yeah i'm just taking my shot at a lot of things and i'm doing youtube of course but youtube is not something you know my full-time job i just keep my phone on my study table and start recording a video that's what i do thank you so much everybody y'all are amazing and stay safe i'm gonna see you people in the next video and also in advanced happy diwali